It is November the 4th. It's just after 3 o'clock. And I'm about ready to head in. I'm at the same spot that I did the interview on the 2nd. I had to work yesterday. I would have liked to have hunted yesterday, but I had to work, so I couldn't. Um, I refrained from going in here uh, to this clover plot yesterday morning because it was too risky. I know they're coming out in the evening, and I know about where they're bedding, so uh, I decided that to wait a day. It's got real warm. It, it's dipping down and getting real chilly at night but it's it's warm right now I'm about 300 yards from where I'm gonna hunt and I wanted to sort of give an explanation for the success I had two days ago um, the night of the first so between the first and the second when I hunted that clover we had a frost a, a light frost and that frost hit the clover and made it real sweet so um so that's why the deer were on it, and I believe they'll still be on it. It, it stays sweet for a couple of days, um, and the deer just absolutely love it. So I'm going to creep in here, get set up on the other side of the L. Uh, we, have, uh, we have permanent stands set up on, on either end, the north and south end of this uh, food plot, but it, it dog legs to the east. Um, and and uh, that's where the deer are coming out. So I'm, I've got my saddle, I've got my sticks. I'm going to go set up over where those deer are coming out, and I'm going to push back in. Maybe I haven't decided yet. Uh, look, watching the videos from earlier in the season, before the season started, those mistakes I made last year, I'm going to try not to make them this year. It's all in picking the right tree. So I'm going to try to do that. I'll see you in the stand. tree it's on the edge but it's got a lot of back cover from where I expect the deer to come from I expect them to come from a lane right there there's a lane that runs down this ridge it's uh, fairly clear in the path of least resistance so I'm gonna hop up in this tree the the wind is light and out of the south, so it's blowing this way. My scent should be falling into this bottom right here.
owls have started barking at something in these woods back here. And I'm pretty sure I heard a grunt from back that way. If I did, it's not far away.
so I've got a little bit of a weight. There's another deer. The same deer that came out two days ago or out right now when that big buck came out. So hopefully he'll do the same thing Kenny just did. I wasn't able to film a close. The deer were a little tight on me and I wanted to be super quiet. So I broke down that set and and came came home. Um, the deer is still on the clover. That's the, the good news. The bad news is I have to work the next couple of days. So I'm not sure when I'm going to get to hunt. Um, I might try a morning sit. I just don't know. Um, I didn't see the deer I was hoping to see. That's how it goes. Um, but he didn't turn up. I thought he did. Uh, a very large body deer came down the lane um, right at last camera light. It was still pretty good light for me to see uh, and I could tell that it wasn't the deer fairly quick but when I first spotted the deer and started getting everything ready I was amped. Uh, but it turned out to be a doe. Um, so uh, if I get out in the next couple of mornings. I'll, I'll show it to you. Otherwise, I'll see you on the next one.